an opera incubator based in Cork City in Ireland, um, which was founded earlier this year. Um, we decided to partner with Dash almost immediately um, out of sheer necessity because uh, two of our flagship projects, uh, Bitcart and Festi, um, are aiming to bring crypto payments and blockchain to, to everyday, everyday people. Um, and if you are to use a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's incredibly difficult to pitch its efficacy to merchants when you tell them that a transaction will not be completed for approximately 30 minutes and sometimes even longer. So one of the things we're focused on at Opera Incubator is translating the technical language that underpins blockchain to real merchants that may actually begin to use Dash and other cryptocurrencies. It's not exactly a useful language to, uh, to use when sitting in front of Irish publicans. Um, when you mention terms, we haven't even done it, but if you were to mention terms like SHA-256 and blockchain, you immediately alienate these people. Uh, what we focus on is, is the bottom line, is the, is the, is the savings that these, that these merchants are going to be able to, to avail of uh, by using our products. So uh, unfortunately, the Bitcart and Opera Incubator CEO, Graham DeBarra, is not able to attend today. Um, that is because you, the Dash community, actioned a proposal for Bitcart to launch a marketing campaign in South Korea, and uh, he's already there. I think it's uh, not surprising to hear from someone within the Dash community, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say it to, to address the, the elephant in the room, that uh, some proposals that are submitted to the, to the network um, are, let's say, lofty, and uh, the return on investment is not, is not entirely clear. Um, what we're aiming to do with Bitcart and with Festi is to give real results uh, very, very quickly for the, for the Dash network. So just an announcement regarding Festi and, and, and our, our current work. Um, we launched approximately three months ago had a successful proof of concept um, launch at our balcony in, uh, in Cork. I believe Dash Force News actually tuned into that and that was a nice conversation. Um, we had some real Cork City merchants come to see uh, this technology in use and very quickly uh, the financial lifeline that Festi and Dash offer to these merchants who are crippled by visa transaction fees uh, is, is, is quickly spreading like wildfire. So much so that uh, the Irish Pubs Global Federation, which comprises of 7,000 Irish pubs worldwide, has asked Festi to be the headline sponsor at their award ceremony this October. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So what this means for the Dash network, um, it's hard to fathom. It could be, it could be astronomical. The, the numbers that we're working with are based on sales volume uh, from our city, Cork, which comprises of 250,000 people. Uh, Graham was researching last night and found one Irish pub that's in the running for the uh, best Irish pub in the rest of the world category, which we'll be presenting the award for, which has a footfall of one million people every four hours. So that amount of Dash transactions we hope will please the network. And we're actually submitting a, a proposal today uh, to the Dash community to hopefully um, assist us in getting to this, to this headline sponsorship slot. I actually see some members of uh, Waxman PR, I think, uh, down there. And uh, I'd just like to say a quick word about them. Um, they're another reason why we, we felt like Dash made the most sense to, to partner with. And 
when we were at the consensus conference back in, back in May, uh, when BitCart decided to drop Bitcoin um, as a payment processor on its website, uh, Jesse from Waxman PR thought we were lunatics, um, but believed in us and, 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 and got, got the information out there and we're, we're really thankful for them for doing so. And what this has led to is an increase in Dash transactions on our system. We turn over, I think, approximately $120,000 per month now, exclusively in Dash transactions. Thank you. You don't need to clap at, at these things. It's just, it's just our job, you know. Um, so in order to create mass adoption, which is what we're talking about here, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fantastic to see Dash advertised on planes and for Dash to be integrated onto trading platforms, but we feel like those moves are, are, are narrow, narrow moves. Good moves, but narrow moves. Uh, when we were conceptualizing Festi, initially we, we tried to ask ourselves, what do we see every day in Cork, in Ireland? And the answer is the pub tr trade thriving, right? We see, uh, we see a lot of action in, in that regard. So when one of our first clients, the owner of the Crane Lane Theatre and the Rising Suns Brewery, in Cork informed us that his bill to visa every year was 400,000 euros. And when we told him that there was a potentiality of having those costs or perhaps even removing them entirely, he told us that we had reinforced his faith in the idea of a cashless society. And Cork, we feel, uh, will soon be the crypto capital of Ireland and hopefully Europe and we encourage everybody else to, uh, to follow suit. So thank you so much for listening to me. Um, and we're very excited to, again, work with Dash in the future, work with Dash in the present. And we, uh, we thank everybody for coming. Thank you.